found it. Back in kindergarten, Ben Uter loved brightly colored candy and ate a lot of it. Then he was diagnosed with severe ADD. I was like daydreaming. I couldn't really like focus. In addition to giving him medication, his mom tried cutting out foods containing artificial dyes. And by Monday, he was back at school off of his medication and eating a diet free of food coloring, and his teachers were amazed. Most things you'll find in a lunchbox contain artificial food dyes, drinks, snack foods. This has yellow number six, red number 40. They're even in foods we think of as healthy, like fruit roll-ups and applesauce. Tomorrow, the Uters will testify at an FDA meeting reconsidering the impact of food dyes. For the first time, FDA officials say artificial colorings may not cause, but could worsen hyperactivity in certain kids. The three main ones are red 40, yellow 5, and yellow 6. They comprise 90% of all the dyes used in this country. We're saying to the FDA, get rid of that whole kit and caboodle. While the U.S. grocery industry insists there's no link between artificial colorings and hyperactivity, the European Union now requires a warning label on foods containing these dyes. I think the government should get involved to educate consumers that this could possibly be um, a similar outcome for other children. The FDA panel isn't considering whether to ban these dyes, but we could hear a call for more research and possibly warning labels. Erica? In your piece, Ben's mom said there was this huge difference in her son when she cut out the dyes, but how do we know it was really the dyes that were affecting him? We don't know. It could have been the dyes, it could have been the sugar, it could have been gluten or something else we're not even thinking of, or some combination of it all, and that's been one of the real challenges for researchers. If parents, though, are thinking about cutting some of these things out of their children's diets, what's the best way to proceed? I'll tell you, it's tough because they're everywhere, and not just in junk foods, okay? Margarine, the thing that makes it yellow, are food dyes. What makes pickles green? Food dyes. So people have to read those package labels very, very carefully. Now, there is a growing industry in the United States of these foods that are made from natural plant-based coloring, but these products tend to be a little bit more expensive. And can be tough to find, too. Dr. John LaPook, thanks.